call one for your brother. That's it. Uh, uh, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this one now. That's it. Don't go, ladies and gentlemen. A chance to get for yourself a beautiful, original, hand-done drawing. But is it guaranteed original? I hear you ask, madam. Madam, I hear you ask. Observe the graphic detail, ladies and gentlemen. Observe the realism. You'd almost swear the ship was moving. Look at that. Get a present for your father, a present for your mother, one for your sister or one for your brother. Not a copy, sir. Only the genuine article here. Ladies and gentlemen. getting my shoes and socks off, I could count to 24. I'm
Four convicts locked up below decks. It's a terrible time. There's old Dipper. He was a pickpocket till he got too old and too slow and they nabbed him. And young Bill, or Silly Billy as his friends call him. <laughs> silly. <laughs> he stole a pig from a farmer and actually tried to sell it back to the farmer he stole it from. Jack Doolan, highwayman. He's the <coughs> guest of his majesty for the term of his natural life. Still, he won't be lonely. Most of his gang's here. Big George Tompkins, the blacksmith. Oh, and the girl, pretty Polly Nelson. Transported for seven years. Same as her brother, young Toby. Thirteen years old. Can you imagine that 13 years old and sent to New South Wales because he held a horse for a highwayman? If I had the wings of a turtle dove, I would soar on my pinion so high. Slap bang to the arms of my polyglot. There I would nestle. And more convicts, too, by the looks. Henry, the governor said we could have a couple of healthy ones from the next ship. They can help you work the farm. Farm, you call it? More like a desert. I need a hundred convicts to make that dust grow anything. stars at the wharf, sir, and... Yes, Pertwee, we know, we know. Lindsay, I can see them. At least a dozen fine, strapping convict gals. One of them must be able to cook. I'll go down and choose one directly. Oh, I'm so thrilled, at last. Oh, Gasta, you can't simply go down there and... Oh, Lindsay, you promised. The convicts are ready for your inspection, sir. Pertwee, stop fussing. I'm coming. Lindsay, you're not listening to me. Lindsay, Lindsay! Oh, here he goes. God! Hey, jump! His Majesty's representative, the governor. <laughs> Colonel Lightfoot, Lieutenant Governor of the Colony of New South Wales. Captain McKinney of the Northern Star, with general cargo and convicts for His Majesty's Colony of New South Wales, sir. What's this lot like, Captain? Oh, the usual, sir. Rogues and scoundrels, the whole pack of them. But we take the convicts to the cattle yards and hurry it up. Sergeant, take them away and hurry it up. Very good, sir. <laughs> God, have these here delicate creatures getting dried out by the sun, eh, Corporal? Oh, Sergeant, that'd be proper cruel, that would. Get that move on. You heard the Sergeant. Come on. Get him, man. That's Bully Langdon. Sergeant Langdon to you. You heard the Sergeant. Come on. 
and that's Corporal Wesley. They call him the Weasel. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, they're all down in the cattle yards now. Silence. All right, shut up. The lot of you. Now, if any free settler needs a female convict as a servant, he must apply to the governor's office this afternoon. I'm having this one. If she can cook and wash, she'll suit me very well indeed. Augusta, we already have six servants. And not one of them can cook. Let me tell you, sir, if I had known that life in the colonies was so, so uncomfortable, I would never have come. And furthermore, I'm tired and I'm hot and I think I'm going to faint. Oh, very well, madam. Take her, take her. Thank you, Lindsay. Come along, my dear. Polly, will you be all right? Of course, Toby. Don't worry about me. Get back, you. Boy, steady on. Easy, George. It won't do us any good. The boy neither. If you wasn't a soldier, and I wasn't a convict, I'd pin your ears back and pelt you so hard. He can do it. He can lift a horse with his bare hands. Get your hands off. Right, get back. Lift a horse with his bare hands, eh? I don't have to use my bare hands. All male convicts from the Northern Star will be assigned as farm labourers to settlers in the colony, except five men who will work here for the military. Sergeant, choose five men. Got them picked out already, sir. Corporal, show them the fireworks. 